Let's take a look at how we can insert a math equation into our iBooks author page. In order to do a math equation, we're going to go to insert and then equation, or I can use the hotkeys option command E. When I do that, I'm going to get an editing uh, equation editor that pops down. I'm going to enter into this window latex code or math ML code. Now, if I don't know what those latex codes are, uh, I can, we've generated some here for you in your iBooks for reference, or there's places online that you can go to find that. Uh, and there's this third option that I'm going to show you as well. But I'm just going to show you what this looks like as we type this in. Once you have your code in and it looks exactly what you want it to look like, you're just going to simply click insert and it's going to pop into your page where your cursor last was. If I wanted to edit that, I could just double tap on it and go back to my code and I could make updates to it and click on update. If I wanted to edit the size of that, I'm just going to click to highlight that and now I can go over here to my formatting bar and I can increase the font size um, to be whatever I want. I cannot change um, the appearance of it. Now, there's another way to enter in some of the text code that's really nice and simple and includes using uh, an equation um, an equation editor called the Dumb Equation Editor. So it's a Google Chrome extension, and I'm just going to simply launch that. And once I have it, I can easily build um, my equation simply by just clicking on what I want here. If I want to do a fraction, I'm just going to send that fraction down. And let's say I want the fraction 3 over 4. Uh, and then let's go x, but then I want it to be x squared, so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to grab my superscript. I'm going to go back in and type x squared. And what you'll notice is that your equation is being built here, so you can preview what the equation looks like, and your latex code is being generated down here. So let's just add a few more things in here. Let's do an integral um, from... So uh, notice that we have a very similar equation to what we had before. Here's our latex code. I can simply just copy that, head back over to my iBooks author, insert a new equation, and paste it in there. And you'll notice that it looks exactly how I wanted it to. And I can click on Insert, and there's my new equation down here as well. So that's called the DOM Equation Editor, or DOM Equation Editor, I'm not really sure, but it's a Chrome extension, real quick and easy way to grab the text code and build your equation.